Hi and welcome to 12 for Fit Celebrity Edition. Today we are taking a look at Millie Bobby Brown. Now she's been in a lot of roles but most people know her for her roles in Stranger Things and Enola Holmes 1 and 2 which I very much enjoyed. Interesting thing about Enola Holmes, um, she had to do all of her fight scenes in high heels and a corset. Uh, try that sometime. Now she's a very athletic person. Uh, she's especially into martial arts. She has a pretty interesting weekly routine, including Thai boxing on Mondays, jujitsu ju on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and boxing with one of her trainers on Wednesdays. She's been doing it for several years and even does it several hours a day. In addition, she'll do things like aerial silk, which is like twirling up in the air on pieces of silk. And she likes scuba diving. She prioritizes prioritizes self-care and she actually does uh, therapy too. One of the things she said is she's homeschooled so she gets lonely sometimes and going to the gym um, that's why she likes to go there and you know be with people and everything and she said a very interesting thing she says I personally don't think that self-love is a face mask or a hair mask and that will solve world issues. I define it as giving your mind your emotional well-being and your body, the time it deserves, and the healing it deserves. And she says, I need to love myself the way I love others, and in turn, that'll make me a decent friend and a decent person. So being inspired by Millie Bobby Brown, we're going to do a Muay Thai, Muay Thai workout today, and that's coming up next. So how is Muay Thai different from other martial arts? Well, for one thing, they, they're known for really training hard, just uh, getting their bodies in really great shape. But there's also different emphasis. They, they put uh, more emphasis on doing strikes, like knee, or knee strikes, elbow strikes, that kind of thing. Um, big uh, emphasis on push kicks or teeps. So we'll be doing incorporating some of those uh, techniques in today's workout. So let's get started. We'll do uh, jumping jacks. jumping rope and if you don't have a, a rope we'll just do a pretend jump rope Okay, stretches, we'll stretch it on down to the left. On down to the right. Into the middle. Loosen up the shoulders. Right arm forward. Left arm forward and back. Shoulders and back. Start loosening up the hips.
Right side the other way. And knees, we'll do a bounce. And back up, bounce. Knee rotations. Back the other way. Bounce a couple more times. And knee rotations. All right, one thing White Tie is known for is doing some shadow boxing. So we'll do some light shadow boxing. And for this, you know, you can do jab cross from one side, you can do jab cross the other side. You can throw a few kicks. Again, we're just kind of getting loosened up here. They do uh, teeps where they do a push kick. So it's just loosening up punches. You do uppercut punches or hook punches. So light combinations, jab cross. You can throw some elbows strikes. Okay, we'll do some practice with their uh, push kick or teep. So uh, where a regular front snap kick is you put it out there and do a quick you know movement out. Uh, with a push kick, it's more of like a you get a little push at the end of it. So we'll do some of those. Catch the other side. We'll do some knee strikes so you pretend to grab your opponent and do a knee strike the other side.
shadow box it again. Can you just throw some light techniques? Good jab cross, jab uppercut. Try and stay moving. Elbow strikes. We'll do a roundhouse kick. Switch to the other side, roundhouse kick. Muay Thai fighters are known for really training hard, so we'll do some push-ups. And some crunches. Alright, so that was a very brief Muay Thai uh, workout. Uh, again, uh, they're known for really doing, uh, focusing on different strikes and uh, for really training their bodies hard. You know, lots of shadow boxing, running, uh, jumping rope, that kind of thing to really get themselves in shape.
uh, for their fights. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.